right guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've yet to do so, please subscribe and smash that like button. Uh, we're working hard here to produce a lot of cool content for you. Um, and the more you're, you know, you're hitting that button, the more we build up the following, the, the more cars, more cool, fun cars we can bring to you, okay? <laughs> So today is actually a really special day. We've got a new segment, uh, Classic Cars, starting. Uh, and we're here today with Mr. Bob Kemp, who has kindly um, given us his sort of time, given us his beautiful car, um, and is going to show us a few little things uh, and tell us a little bit about the history of it. How you doing, Bob? Good. How are you, Dave? Pretty good, thanks. That's good. Yeah, this is a 1971 uh, MGB Roadster. Um, uh, these used to be on the road all over the place, and uh, yeah. of course they stopped making MGs in 1980. Okay. Uh, 1980 was when they discontinued them? Yeah. Okay. For, for, was there a reason for it? Yeah, I guess they didn't sell. <laughs> they just weren't selling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, 20, 30 years later, and now it's, you know, now it's something to be, to be desired. Yeah, right? it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's what you'd call a uh, practical car. Okay. It's not that rare. They made over... 550,000 of them okay. from 1962 to 1980. Okay. Uh, but this one's pretty good shape, uh, kind of low miles, uh, original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is all, everything is factory, nothing's been, nothing's yeah, been tampered much. with. Yeah, pretty okay. much. How much mileage is on it? About 55,000. A um, little bit about the history of, of MG. Is it, it was it based? Is it? It's a. It was in uh, England. It's an English, English car. car. Okay. For everyone that doesn't uh, know, MG is based in England. Yeah, the British uh, Leyland, British Motor Company, okay. made MGs. They made Triumphs. Okay, interesting. Uh, Morris. Yeah. Uh, yeah. MG stands for Morris Garage. Morris Garage. Okay. Yeah, there you it's go. Uh, Fun facts. Yeah. Cool. And there, there, that brings us to our slogan there. You want to yeah, yeah, that yeah, out? Yeah, I have this old advertising. Well, cool cool little old plaque he's got lying yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. some nice little artifacts. Well, it's a reproduction. It's not exactly. <laughs> yeah. Still, this is something that every yeah, guy would want to have in his, his little car garage. The superlative MGB. Yeah, very and nice. This was their logo. It was known as the Octagon. Yeah, it almost looks like yeah, a stop sign. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, it's, it, although by today's standards, it's probably not... Fast or safe, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Off the top of your head, uh, off the top of your head, do you have the the spec? I know it's a four cylinder, yeah, four cylinder. It's got a, uh, I think, ninety five horsepower. Ninety five horsepower. And, okay. Uh, okay. From a manual transmission. Stick to it. Yeah, yeah. Four speed. Yeah, three windows. Kind of an unusual thing. That's. Uh, that's very it's one of the safety things. They used to have a regulation that in England that the wipers had to cover a certain percentage of the windshield. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and two wipers wouldn't cut it, so they added uh, a third. That's interesting because this windshield is actually pretty small to begin with, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a low profile windshield. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of why they couldn't make the wipers covered. Yeah. yeah. What else I find really interesting is that you have this mirror here, almost like a Pagani fly right with the side, yeah. and then it's not the same on the other side. You have that one. Yeah, I don't know. That might you. be an aftermarket thing. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Cool. I like it. It's good. So what's the transmission like? You know, do you have a comparison to, you know, nowadays? Is it, is it a little yeah, heavier? Yeah, I mean, it's, is it, 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 it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, I haven't driven too many stick shifts, uh, you know, modern ones. Yeah, yeah, but the ones I've got, you know, it's, it's a comparable, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And so, would you say the value of this is kind of it's it's retained its value, it's gone up in value? Your plans, uh, your plans well, for it? They're that? they're very, uh, you know, depending on the condition. Yeah. You know, I would say 
ten thousand dollars could probably buy a really nice one. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Okay. And then your your plans? Are you just planning to hold on to it? Yeah. Is yeah. That your baby, your weekend or car? Yeah. It, uh, well, it belonged to my father. Oh, very nice. Okay. And uh, yeah, you know, it's not sentimental. Yeah. He used to go. I used to take a photo. He was blind and his whole day. He used to smell like you know, from my, uh, yeah, got that sensation for your ears as well, right? right? Yeah. yeah. The exhaust. It does have a nice exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, is this the typical red, or was there? This might be asking too much of you, but is there a is there a red? Is there a name for the red paint? Uh, you know, Mercedes is always brilliant blue and that Yeah, I know. Gray. There, is, there is a name, but I off the top of my head, I don't. Yeah. We'll yeah. look into that. We'll put yeah, that I on mean, the screen. Yeah, the, the, another popular color was uh, British Racing Green. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Like, they, yeah. they made a lot of them in that color. Yeah. That's like a Jaguar Aston uh, Martin. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Classic. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice. Good. Yeah, I forgot that. Now you've got me in a series. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah, used yeah. To, I used to. I'll do a little research and I'll put it. I'll be putting it on the screen for you guys back there, just <laughs> sitting in your home watching uh, this video. You'll be able to see it. We call it MG Red. The, MG Red, <laughs> the luxury of technology. I can do some research and just put it up there for you. Uh, so yeah, beautiful. Uh, well, why don't we get in the car and maybe take it for a little rip and, uh, okay. and see what she can do? Okay. All right, let's do it. Bit of a process to start it, eh? <laughs> Did it? Oh no, is it the battery? Oh shoot. Oh no, <laughs> what a time for it. Shoot. Just give, give her a shake. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Shoot, she's yeah, she's finicky. Fine. She's a finicky British model. We're gonna get it. You let me know. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, some good here. All right, let's do it again. Let's get this one. Let's get it. Ooh. Can you wait a little longer? I guess you're trying to you're trying to turn it over at the when it has the most speed, right? Yeah. I'll try and get it going fast. Three, two, one, hold on. What's up guys? So as you can see back there in shooting this video we started the car up. It's been sitting for a little bit while we talk about the vehicle. You're gonna see that obviously the first part of this video but the car is dead now. The battery's gone. Something's, something's gone. We've been, <laughs> you're gonna see it in the, in the highlights here. We're going up and down this hill trying to jump start it, trying to, trying to get it going and no go. So Bob is gonna call his mechanic and that looks like the end of uh, of this video unfortunately um but i mean kind of to sum it up here really really beautiful car again this is the start of the, the classic sort of car segment um there's gonna be a lot of cool sort of other vintage classic cars coming to the channel i uh, hope you guys have subscribed and check it out um thanks a lot to bob for for letting us sort of shoot with his video i feel really really bad hopefully he can get everything sort of sorted out with his with his car um I guess that just kind of comes with the job, right? Owning a classic car 
they tend to be a little bit finicky and they give you they give you a few problems here here and there which is why you know you got to have the cash to do it and you only really bring them out once in a while right the, the, the specialness in them is is kind of why you keep them you know a little sunday sort of drive um but even that might not work based on the the, the events we're dealing with here um anyways thanks for thanks for tuning in you guys uh really really appreciate it sorry to finish this video on such a kind of weird sort of you know finish um you know apologize but um at very least you know you got some facts about mg and the, the vehicle um you know and you can you can follow along as we bring more uh classic cars to the to the channel okay uh see you in the next video all right take care